Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. As I promised, we're going to make a backdraft chamber for our um, blow gun to give it a little bit more power. What we're going to use is an inch and a quarter PVC pipe, all set for 370 PSC, 73 degree Fahrenheit, and 24 inches long. We also are going to need a couple reducers for inside, and they are one inch to half inch. These will work pretty well for most of the .62 guns. I have to use a little electric tape to pad for this one. We, I said two of these because one of these we've already cut down, cutting the, the ridge off the top there like that. That was aside for something else we may or may not ever use someday. Then we drilled nine 3.2 holes in it. That's to get the air through. We're using these today instead of the straws. All right, so now it's as easy. We just um, slather some goop, some PVC goop. I prefer the clearer instead of the blue. Put that in one end, flush it tight, and now the other end, the business end also will end up being the mouthpiece of the blowgun. We slather a little of that on there. Well, actually more than a little. Keeping it all on the outside, you're not putting it on the inside. Well, I suppose if you really wanted to, when it comes to attaching it to the blowgun. Right now we're making the chamber. I actually don't do that because... Okay, now here's an important part. We inset that at least a quarter of an inch to a half inch in. That's very important. There, there's about like I like it. Now what we'll do is we'll let that set just for a few minutes. And we'll... Get back and we'll put it on the blue gun. All right. All right. So now we've let it set for a little bit. We'll put it on. Make sure that the um, side with the holes, the mouthpiece, is on the other end. It's on. The far end. There we go. Now, what to do here is it's a little loose on there, which is exactly what I wanted it to be. And so, we shall take our little friend here. Electrician's tape, and we will put that up toward the end, making a good couple rolls of it. Okay, and we put a little tape on there. Now, what we'll do is this up. Now, we'll put that down in there, nice and flush. Oops, so it's just flush in there. Just a little bit more, okay. And on the other end, of course, we end up doing the same thing. with a little bit more of our good friend here, the electric tape. This end will tape up a little bit more. We actually pull it back a little bit this time. Give it a little all the way up and down. This is the end that truly has to be airtight, so. We're gonna 
cover the whole thing with a liquid cape in the end. There we go. Wait, sure, we still got a nice flush up here. There, we have a nice flush up there. Okay. Continue with that nice flush. Then we we'll just continue to wrap. Right on around. Believe it or not, even though there's a little going back and forth on this, the other way I do it with the tubes and the straws is actually, well, a little bit more painstaking, if you will. If you wish to say it that way. And then we just... And me, I'll just cover the whole thing in one, one layer of the, the nice tight electric tape. Make sure to overlap it. Because I kind of like that black. Yeah, I know in this case it's black on red. But that's still okay. Now to finish that on up. There we go. And now we have the back draft chamber on. I don't really see any gap down here, but I still like to make darn sure. Because, you know, if you have an air leak, what good is it, right? Other than being a, well, an interesting mouthpiece and a, and a little thicker of a hand grip. Like I said, you most certainly could put some goop on the outsides of the pipe and secure the chamber like that if you wish. And, well, there we have it. You can see. In there, we have our little holes. Fills in the chamber. If we blow it, fill it up full of air. Basically, it's adding more length to the chamber. See, so our circle sight comes back, but it only hits it at the length that you had. So, it's six foot. So, you're putting extra air behind it. I guess giving your lungs a reserve. This is it. There is another high-powered blow gun on the old geezer corner, on the geezer corner, but um, I haven't made that one of the valves. This one works really effective on the 50 caliber. I have a 6 foot 50 caliber I put on, and it shoots as, as far and as long as any 8 footer I have. All right, well, so shall we go take a shot or two with it? All right, let's take a couple shots with it. All right, just a bamboo skewers. She's just fine. I didn't put a um, chronograph on it this time. You can use a couple different techniques. There is where you can actually use your tongue as a valve. Actually put it in the hole inside there, then um, blow and release. All right. Well, there's our shots. Seems like we hit the target from here. I suppose we could go take a look. That was from just um, 15 yards. And there we are. Few couple missing, a couple in on, on the bullseye, a couple on the head of the crow. There we are. Well, thank you very much for joining us on this good day. Pleasure as always. All right. See you all later. Like and subscribe.